You may already know that when you're working in a calculator application and you want to copy and paste a previous calculation, you can simply arrow up and press enter. But if you want to paste the information somewhere else, you can use the well-known keyboard shortcut for copy and paste. Anything you copy to the clipboard remains there until it's replaced by something else. That means you can continue pasting. From time to time, we can all make mistakes. Pressing Ctrl Z allows you to undo a mistake, while Ctrl Y allows you to redo that undo. Sometimes you may have two applications running on the same page. Here I have a graph and some notes and calculations related to the graph. There are more calculations further down the page. I could scroll through them. Alternatively, I can ungroup the two pages by pressing Ctrl and 6 to ungroup. Notice now that I have two pages. Each one has just one application. To regroup or group two pages, navigate to the first one and press Ctrl and 4. Suppose you've just graphed an equation or equations and you want to see a table of values. Press Ctrl and T to switch the table on. You can change the start value, step value or even decide whether or not the calculator prompts or generates them automatically. In this case I've got two functions. The table is not quite wide enough to see the second. I could change the column width or I could use my previous shortcut to ungroup and place the table on a separate page. When I'm done, I could regroup or press Ctrl and T to toggle the table back off. You can access a whole page of mathematics templates using the button adjacent to the catalogue. Some of these templates have shortcuts. If you want to calculate the derivative of an expression, press SHIFT and MINUS. To help remember this shortcut, think about what happens to the exponents of a polynomial when it is differentiated. So what happens if you press SHIFT and PLUS? Here's a special shortcut, just for the Notes application. The Notes application allows you to go beyond static text. You can insert a math box by pressing Ctrl and M. Calculations performed in a math box are responsive to change and update live to reflect changes made elsewhere in the same problem. There are a range of ways you can insert applications into your current document. The home screen. the document menu. Or by simply pressing Ctrl and I for insert. One of the really powerful features of TI Inspire is that you can save your work in a document. The most obvious way to save is to press Ctrl and S. If you haven't saved your document previously, you'll be prompted for a name and folder location. Once you have finished solving a problem, you could continue working in the same problem, insert another one, or start fresh by creating a new document. If you haven't saved your current document, you will be prompted to do so. If you have a saved document that you want to open, you could browse for it from the home screen or simply press Ctrl and O for open. 
select the document from the available folders just the same as you would on a computer. So that's it for our top 10 keyboard shortcuts.